Please like and subscribe. What's happening, party people? I am Lena. Today I'm going to talk about the Italian Night of Budapest. Amidst the hair trending cacophony of wartime Budapest, an enigmatic figure emerges from the shadows. A man with furrowed brows, weathered face, and piercing eyes, Giorgio Perlisco, a valiant Italian knight in disguise. Clad in the uniform of a Spanish consul general, he stood defiantly against the ominous backdrop of the Hungarian capital teetering on the precipice of collapse. Meanwhile, within the labyrinthine Jewish quarter, a humble laborer named Leonardo toiled away at his meager trade. Unbeknownst to him, the threads of fate began weaving together, binding their stories in ways that would forever change the course of their lives and the lives of countless others. As the sun set over Budapest casting in orange hue upon the cobblestone streets, a chilling wind carried whispers of chaos through the city. Leonardo, weary from his labor, made his way home, only to be stopped short by a disquieting sight a desperate crowd gathered at the gates of the Spanish embassy. In their trembling voices they pleaded for sanctuary Jews seeking refuge from the relentless grasp of the Nazis. Leonardo's heart ached as he watched the pitiful scene unfold before him tears streaming down his cheeks. He could do nothing but pray for their safety and offer what little comfort he could. Suddenly a voice cut through the cacophony, it was Perlisca. With unwavering conviction, the Italian knight addressed the crowd declaring that he would provide them with shelter within the embassy's walls. The Jews initially skeptical hesitated at first but eventually entrusted their lives to this stranger, who had promised them salvation. As darkness enveloped the city Perlisca and Leonardo huddled together in the embassy, their minds racing with thoughts of survival and resistance against the encroaching evil that threatened to consume Hungary. But even as they plotted, the odds seemed insurmountable. The Nazis were relentless, and time was running out for those seeking refuge. The following day, Perlisca set forth on a mission to secure official documents from the Spanish embassy in Bucharest that would legitimize his position as consul general. Leonardo, ever loyal, accompanied him on this perilous journey. They braved the treacherous roads, narrowly escaping detection by the Nazis and their Hungarian collaborators at every turn. Upon their return to Budapest, they discovered that their efforts had not gone unnoticed. The Nazis were now aware of Perlisca's deception, and their fury knew no bounds. The Italian knight, undeterred, continued his work granting asylum to any Jew who sought refuge within the embassy walls. However, the Nazis would not be deterred so easily. They laid siege to the embassy, determined to root out the Italians and seize those they believed to be Jews in hiding. Perlisca and Leonardo stood their ground, their resolve unwavering, as they defended their charges against the onslaught of enemy forces. As days turned into weeks, Perlisca's heroics spread like wildfire, reaching the ears of the Allied forces. A daring rescue mission was devised to extract those under Perlisca's protection from Budapest before it was too late. Leonardo and a small team of Italian soldiers were dispatched to aid in the evacuation. The night of their escape, under the cover of darkness, they navigated the Citus labyrinthine streets, evading the clutches of the enemy at every turn. Their journey was fraught with danger. They were constantly pursued by the Nazis who seemed determined to capture or kill them all. But Leonardo and his companions refused to yield. They fought valiantly, their courage fueled by the knowledge that they carried with them the hopes and dreams of an entire community. Together they made their way through the chaos, their spirits unbroken by the horrors that surrounded them. Finally, they reached the safety of Allied lines where they were greeted with jubilation and relief. The Jewish refugees now safe from harm looked upon Perlisca and Leonardo as their saviors, a testament to the power of courage, compassion, and determination in the face of unimaginable adversity. And yet even as the sun rose on a new dawn, the shadow of war continued to loom over Budapest. Perlisca and Leonardo knew that their work was far from complete. They would continue to fight for the freedom and safety of all those who were still trapped within the Citus walls. Through this harrowing tale of courage, friendship, and perseverance, we bear witness 
to an extraordinary story of heroism, a story that transcends the boundaries of language, race, and nationality. The Italian knight of Budapest, Giorgio Perlisca, may have started as a humble laborer, but he would forever be remembered as a savior and a beacon of hope in the darkest of times.